Maybe not while all these people are walking past. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are just currently riding through the historic town that is Bath. Barf, whatever you want to call it. Bath, if you're posh. And we're heading to the seaside. Uh, well, you kind of call it the seaside, but it's not really the seaside. It's, it's um, Breen Sands, but close enough. That's about as close as we are to the seaside. Uh, anyway, so yes, we are on the little bikes again, uh, out on a new adventure. The sun is shining today. Whoop, whoop. Gibbo is with me, lurking behind. Hey, and uh, yeah, let's go and see the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and have a bag of chips and maybe an ice cream and we're hoping to ride on the beach imagine that so we're just coming into Breen it has been uh, the longest journey to get here there's been traffic and now we step behind the local bus and that just about sums the journey up it's like being 20 miles an hour pretty much all the way here no, over no safe overtaking, no safe filtering available. So we've just had to kind of sit it out. And consequently, it's like most people be going home at this time of day. <laughs> this took us, oh, probably like three and a half hours to get here. Anyway, I really hope it's worth it. So we're just getting close to Breen Sands now. And uh, all being well, we can get on the beach and uh, hang our boots up for a bit and take in the sights. Okay. Um. It was just a local. The beach guard saw. Oh, the beach guard is now uh, following us. Uh, yeah, if I say to him, we're just going to get an ice cream. Yeah, he's going to have a word with us now. So what we didn't realise is that bikes can't actually park on the beach. So we've had two people chase us down. Uh, but we just said, look, we've come all this way. We just want an ice cream and we'll be on our way. So the ice cream's going to take us an hour at least. So here we are on Breen Sands and we really shouldn't be, but who cares? Oh! I don't know. So we have taken the executive decision because we are hungry and so we're just going to leave the beach. I think we've uh, pushed our luck enough uh, <laughs> before we get thrown off. <laughs> so we're going to just get some grub and just uh, go and park the bikes up somewhere and uh, um, get some food and sit on the beach and chill out, watch the sun go down. I just say these knobbly tyres are very good in the sand. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, we've got our chips. Uh, and we're just going to go and find a spot on the beach. And hopefully no one will tell us off or tell him we're doing something wrong. It's been a bit of a day of that today. It's like, oh, people are so ready to have a go at bikers when you're just trying to mind your own business, have a nice day. Everyone's just dead against you. So uh, it looks like they're just turfing everyone off the beach at the moment. So we're going to go up to the top point up by the uh, National Trust parking and see if we can just find a little spot up there quiet and uh, scuff our chips in the sunshine. Hopefully there's no one there to spoil it for us. <laughs> so there we go, the end of the day at Breen Sands. Lots of people have gone home and uh, here we are just watching the sunset. Uh, Sometimes even estuaries can be beautiful. Uh, just check this out. So we're just about to leave this all behind. It's really hard to go home and leave this. Uh, but time is cracking on. Um, still got the world's noisiest boots on. Got all the locals taking the mick out of me. But hey ho. <laughs> So this has been the bane of our life today. We, it doesn't matter what time of day you travel today, it is just nose to nose traffic. Uh, nose to tail, nose to tail. Um, it's just really busy. I mean, it's like 20 to 9 now on a Friday evening. What's all this about then? <laughs> uh, of course, the lanes here narrowed down a bit, so there's not much room for filtering, particularly. Uh, this is just uh, the whole day. But anyway, look at the view of the Bristol Channel. There you go. <laughs> this is something pretty to look at. <laughs> So we are about 40 minutes into this almighty traffic jam. And I think, if I speak to ground control, are we tired now? <laughs> yeah, I'll be tired. Yeah, well, yes, quite tired. Um, <laughs> oh, we just want this traffic to give over and just give us a... get us home. Yeah, so I think the... Uh, the main A48 was shut or something like that, so it's thrown all the M4 and all the M5 into one big lump and it's caused a giant turd of a traffic jam. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd do a little slightly irritated update. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with TJ. TJ. Traffic jam! <laughs> so I don't know if you can see me at the moment, but we've just stopped at the services. And it's like really super busy. We don't know what is going on. Is this what people do on a Friday night? Just come and hang out in car parks? And apparently... Gibbo went into the, uh, into the services and... Uh, how did you describe it? If you come here and um, just... just Gibbo is going to describe what it looks like in the services. It's carnage. It's just like thousands of brummies sitting around eating fast food everywhere and screaming at the kids. It just sounds delightful, doesn't it? You know, um, what a lovely way to spend a Friday night. So, uh, I don't know if you can see them. The headlamps are just lighting up a slightly dead Gibbo again. Uh, semi-conscious in a car park. <laughs> Speed bump alert. <laughs> oh dear, stretch that back. <laughs> I didn't even bother indicating then, did I? 
Oh God. <laughs> ah, right, it is 20 past 10 on a Friday night and we have barreled through a horrendous amount of traffic. It's been the longest journey back. Oh, but we are back in Evesham. Thank goodness. I would like to thank the ever faithful Gibbo for coming along for today's ride on his little triumph. And we were just, you know, we were chatting on the motorway on the way back, just sort of saying how versatile these two bikes are. Oh, my goodness me. You know, we go plodding around the lanes of Wiltshire and we ride them on the beach and then we can just sit at 65 mile an hour all the way back from Weston and they haven't missed a beat. Uh, what a cracking pair of motorcycles we own. How lucky are we? Anyway, so I am going to sign off because it's late and, and we're nearly home. So if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click a like on it and, uh, and the notifications and just sit there and be ready for the next one. Until then, see you next time. Ride safe.